This email is about how to send an active campaign broadcast email. Um, so I've got all of the steps written out in a pretty detailed uh, SOP document. Um, but to make this video a bit more expeditious and easy to watch, I'm just going to set up the, uh, the campaign and just narrate my way through it. And then, of course, at any time, you can refer to this SOP document for the detailed steps, and I recommend you do that. So the first thing you need to do is log in to your active campaign account. Choose campaigns by clicking it on the left menu. Click the blue create a new campaign button. Name your campaign using the naming convention of the date, space, dash, space, uh, then the subject or a, a brief description of the email. Make sure that you've got standard chosen under select a campaign type. Click the green next button. Select the list or lists you're going to be sending the email to. Click the green next button. Choose the email template that you uh, will be sending the email using that template. All you have to do is hover over the template and then click the green use this template button. If you need um, a tutorial on how to create an email template, that is a separate uh, tutorial video. So click the green use this template button. Now you've got to enter your sender details, which is your from name, which is the name as you want it to show up on the email. The from email is the email address um, that you want the email sent from, and then you want the, uh, the subject line. Click the green continue button. Now at this point you want to edit your text, um, and your template should have already been set up, but if you need to make any edits to the template, you can do that as well here. Again, that's a separate video on how to use the editor. Um, what you are going to do after you've edited the text though is click this gear icon and uh, make sure that you've included uh, the catchy subject. You want to include pre-header text which is you can see it says it's a snippet of text that appears after the email subject line. If this field is left blank the first line of your email will display. So this is actually an important um, piece of text because this is another opportunity to build up curiosity and get people to um, uh, actually want to open your email, right? So then you want to make sure your from email is right and your uh, I copy my reply to from my from email. I make sure that automatically generate a text version of the email is on and on. Um, the bottom stuff will actually handle on the next page. So at this point I click close and I click the green next button. And on this page I review to make sure the subject, pre-header text, from, reply, the lists, the address. Again, I'll show you how to create that. That's a separate video. I make sure that these are all checked so that the slider is green and on. I personally choose private, but it's up to you whether you want to archi archive your, your emails as public or private. I choose private, and uh, you can actually use a lot of your emails as a, um, maybe as blog posts or something, so, so people have to access them that way. Um, under scheduling, you can either leave scheduling red and off, and that's how you send emails immediately, or you can slide this on, select the, the date and time that you're looking for, um, to send and it's under military time and you just choose the exact time that you want to send it and then um, when you're done you click finish and it will be uh, uh, scheduled to send at that time. So um, then at this point you want to send a test email and you want to make sure that um, that you use an email that's not your uh, from email because that triggers spam filters obviously sending an email to yourself from like a third party it looks kind of sketchy so just use a different email <clears throat> then under uh, check it to make sure it looks right in your browser then you also wanna if you have these purchased you can do an email client preview uh, which will show you what it uh, they will actually test the email in Gmail, Yahoo, Apple Mail, Apple Mail Outlook, iPhone and iP iPad so you that's for if you have a really important email maybe a bunch of launch emails coming up or something you can run them through that and then desktop preview, I, I also recommend you click it so that you can actually get an idea of what your, um, your email will look like in regards to uh, uh, on, on the different, different platforms. So you can see, see it there. Um, 
and then at that point all you have to do is click send now so that's how you uh, create and then send a uh, broadcast email using ActiveCampaign.